Hello everyone and welcome to Regan Hall Online Worship Service. You are probably wondering why I dress up as an elf today. Well, today is our toy service at Regan Hall Salvation Army and everybody gets to wear their Christmas jumpers. So that's why I am wearing my elf costume today. Also, it's that's, um, part of our toy service. We are collecting toys, new and unwrapped, that we will be, distribu will be distributed to the kids who are in need in our community. So if you feel led to um, donate some toys, please feel free to do so. We are collecting until December 16. This morning, our main um, scripture that we will be focusing on our um, devotion is from the book of Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 to 25. This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had con considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and gave him the name Jesus.
So the title of our message this morning is called The Courage of Christmas. When I first arrived in America, my core officer introduced me to a very classic movie called The Wizard of Oz. So you probably heard about this movie and watched this movie. So this movie consists of obviously different characters that have different weaknesses and strengths. One of the characters was the Cowardly Lion. He tried to make himself seem fierce and act like a real lion because obviously lions are known to be strong, fierce, and furless, right? Well, it worked for a bit on Scarecrow and Teen Man and the Little Dog, but with Dorothy, he folded down and cried like a soft, gentle one. He was crying, and at some part of the movie, you could see that he was very coward. This lion lacks courage. This is one trait that most lions have, but of course, the cowardly lion didn't have it, and he desires it. He wanted to act like a normal lion. But at the end of the movie, obviously, he realized anyway that he had courage in him. He just needed to discover it himself. He needed to have faith that he is courageous. In the Bible, we would see that there are plenty of God's followers who showed great courage as they spread the gospel to every corner of the world. There's Paul, Peter, John the Baptist, Mary Magdalene, and many more. But how about Joseph? In our scripture, we will unveil the ways that Joseph showed great courage as he responded to what the Lord wanted him to do. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 18, we are introduced to the issue that Joseph would be facing. It says, This is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Mary was pregnant before even they got married, and Joseph was put into a situation in which he would be making a very tough decision. And in his culture, as they were already engaged, they are already legally binded. There's already a contract between them. And the only way to reverse that is to get a divorce. Joseph was a very righteous man, and he did not want to put Mary in disgrace. So he was planning to divorce her quietly. However, after the angel of the Lord's visit, Joseph showed his first act of courageousness. Joseph married Mary and concluded that she did not commit adultery as he believed the message that the angel of the Lord told him, that the baby that Mary conceived was caused by the Holy Spirit. If someone comes to you and um, told you that your wife is pregnant and it was caused by the Holy Spirit. Would you believe it? Joseph did. Maybe in our generation now, it will probably be very difficult to believe that. However, during Joseph's time, he believed the message from the Lord. He was courageously enough to believe that God is a God of miracle. We too must have the courage to believe that God can do all things even when we don't understand them sometimes. The situation that we have, sometimes it doesn't make sense, but we just have to be um, courageous to believe that God can make impossible things to possible. Now, you might be thinking, if God can do miracles, why things are not perfect? Why are we still experiencing problems and trials? Well, these are legitimate questions. For sure, Joseph had some questions as well. However, he showed great courage by believing that God can do miracles. God is present with his people. He doesn't intervene from a distance, but is always active, even in the most unbelievable ways. Joseph showed great courage when he married Mary, even if most likely he will be facing some ridicule when people would find out 
that Mary was already pregnant before they even get married. The same way with us, if we believe that God can do, can engage to us as the Bible stated, we must be courageous enough to believe that because God is all present and we know that we just have to believe it. And we probably be facing um, persecution as well. Pe people would question our belief. Are you ready to face those persecution? Are you courageously enough to believe that God can do miracles in your life? When we come into a relationship with the Lord, we must be courageous and have faith to believe that he will be with us. Joseph had faced a lot of trials during this time. Even his right to name the child was taken away from him. In his culture, it is the right of the father to name the child because this is a sign of the father's control over his family. But Joseph took the courage to give up his right because he wanted to obey the Lord. Could you do that as well? When we come into a relationship with the Lord, we must also have the courage to self-determination. We need to drop all our conditions. We must give up the right to say to the Lord, Well, Lord, I will follow you if, or I will do this, Lord, if. If we want to follow Christ, we must drop all our conditions. To be Christ followers, we must be brave enough to deny ourselves. Luke 9, 23 says, If anyone wants to come with me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Joseph showed courage to put Christ as the center of his life when he obeyed and did what the angel of the Lord asked him to do. Because of that, Joseph was blessed to raise the Savior of the world. Joseph put Christ as the center of his life. Are you courageously enough to put Christ as the center of your life? To pick up your cross? To follow him? Joseph showed example for us to follow. And the ultimate example of courageousness is no other than Jesus himself. Jesus showed courage when he took on the punishment that was supposed to be for us. Why did he do that? Why did he have the courage to do what he did for us? It is because of love. And how we will get courage? It is the same way, love. Knowing all the things that God can do for us will draw out our love for him. And then we will have the courage to put him in the center of our lives. And he will be with you and you with him. And this is the courage of Christmas. So as we reflect to this um, gift that God gave to us, the gift of salvation when Jesus Christ was born, are you courageously enough to follow him, to put him first in your life? And are you courageously enough to show your faith, to share your belief to other people, even though you may be facing persecution, you may be facing people who are going to question your belief. Are you brave enough? Are you courageous enough to still stand firm for the glory of God? So my encouragement for you this morning, as you reflect on this Christmas day, Think about all the things that you've been through and think of all the things that God gave to you. And it will draw out your love, love for God and love for others that you can be courageous enough to stand firm and show and share that love as well to other people. God bless you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your gift of love. 
Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for sending him here on earth in order for us to have salvation and the gift of eternal life. Lord, give us courage. Give us courage to show your love to other people. Give us the strength in order for us to be brave enough to face the world to, um, with the strength that comes from you. Father, we can do all things because you are a God of uh, miracles. So thank you, Lord, for your reminder this morning. And we, I ask for your continuous blessing upon each one of us, to all our friends who are um, joining us online. I pray for your continuous provision and protection be upon them as we celebrate your um, the birth of your son, Jesus Christ. Continue to give us courage to show the love to other people. Thank you, Lord, and we love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.